So a few people have asked about how to connect the servo tester. So just to make to show why it's so easy. On the servo tester there should be a little symbol that shows S for signal and then a plus sign and a minus. Now on your cable, the mail to mail servo lead, there will be a white wire which is the signal, a red which is positive and a black which is negative. So you just need to make sure you plug that in so you've got the white wire on the signal connector. Now the only thing that's really important is that you don't these, I've cut the pins off for this one for neatness, but there would have originally been two more rows of pins so you can test three servos at once. Now what you must not do is plug this in vertically because effectively you're connecting all of the pins together. So you have to be very careful. Look at this little diagram. It may be different on your servo tester, but they will all be labeled with S for signal uh, or sometimes a squiggly line for signal, plus for positive, minus for minus. As long as you've got them the right flat if you have them reversed it won't matter because all that will happen is that your signal wire will just be ground so nothing will move but it won't do any damage but if you connect them vertically so they short out that will damage the gimbal when you power it up okay the other side of the of the lead is another male servo connector and again on the board on this board there were instructions that actually told you which side was which so but all, one of these sets of pins will be the pitch and one will be roll. So if you get it wrong, it won't do any damage. It'll just, the, the gimbal will roll instead of pitch. And again, the signal wire is the furthest from the board. So on this connector, you can see, if I connect that on there, and I push that on, that is how you connect the uh, servo tester to a two-axis gimbal. I hope that's useful.